very good morning to you. There is something to make you smile. Smith climbs to the top of Mount Sinai to get close enough to talk to God. Looking up, he asks the Lord, God, what does a million years mean to you? The Lord replies, a minute. Smith asks, and what does a million rand mean to you? The Lord replies, a cent. Smith asks, can I have a cent? The Lord replies, in a minute. I trust you caught that. There is something that often troubles folk when we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, and we eventually come to the phrase, lead us not into temptation. Surely God does not lead us or tempt us to do wrong. In the original Greek version of the New Testament, the word translated as temptation is pyrazine. Yes, it can mean to tempt, but it also implies to test. In Matthew chapter 4, we read that Jesus, right at the beginning of his three-year ministry on earth, was tempted, stroke, tested by Satan. After the devil got nowhere with Jesus, we read that he left Jesus till another time. Every athlete or sportswoman or sportsman knows that they need to be tested. It's hard work. If you are training for the Comrades Marathon, you start by running around the block. Eventually you are running a few kilometers and then 60 kilometers until you finally are able to run the 90 kilometer Comrades Ultra Marathon. It's like that in the Christian life. We cannot live in a spiritual greenhouse. Our faith grows as we deal with each problem, each temptation, each adversity that comes our way. If you take a plant grown in the protection of a greenhouse and place it outside, where the storm, the sun, the wind and the cold confront it, it will most likely wither and die. But if it grows outside from the beginning, it will be able to grow strong against the harsh weather. So, you and I in life, in the adversities, the trials and tribulations, grow stronger and stronger in our faith as we meet each adversity. Jesus was tempted, tested in the wilderness. He told his disciples that they too would be tempted. Often after every mountaintop experience, like at Christ's transfiguration, they would have to come down into the valley where their faith would be tested. I believe it's a fact of life. Certainly in my life, that whenever everything is going well and life looks good, this is the time when the devil loves to have a go at us. He often comes into our lives through the back door when we least expect it, often in a way that is not obvious. For instance, when all is going well, we may begin to believe that it's due to our own efforts and we become self-righteous and start thinking of ourselves as better than others, a sin which Jesus condemns most firmly. And then suddenly we need God's help to overcome these temptations. So perhaps it would be good when we say or sing the Lord's Prayer and come to the phrase, lead us not into temptation, to think of it as do not test us beyond that which we can cope. This way we can slowly learn to resist 
and overcome all the adversities that come our way so that our Christian faith, our Christian life can grow from strength to strength. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we understand that our faith, our trust in you needs to grow stronger and stronger. Please help us to overcome each testing and each adversity that comes our way, that we may indeed grow and mature in our faith, daily being willing to deny ourselves, take up our cross and follow Jesus wherever he may lead us. For his love's sake. Amen. Go now in the strength and power of God to overcome your temptations and adversities and to be more than conquerors through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.